With only 250 millimeters of rainfall per year, Namibia is the driest country south of the Sahara. Constant scarcity of water has shaped the attitudes of individuals all over Namibia, including the Lucas family. The family has its daily water pumped to a reservoir by their landlords. At their home on the outskirts of Windhoek, the Lucas family knows that in this land of deserts and warm winds, even an ounce of daily water must never be taken lightly. In this place of low rainfall, extreme temperatures and strong seasonal wind, daily water amounts to approximately five liters per person per day. Each day, the Lucases and their four children share the same water for washing. Because the Lucases are aware of how much water they have at their disposal, they are very careful of how they dispose of this water. For example, the wash water is reused in their outdoor toilet. Well, what we are about to receive? A lot. Make us very thankful. And for each additional use of daily water, for drinking, for cooking, for laundry, the Lucases must allocate their precious five liters of water per person per day carefully and efficiently. This family makes the best use of its available clean water by finding as many different uses for it as possible. On a larger scale, Windhoek is also finding ways to use the same water over and over. Namibia is the only country in the world that purifies sewage water in a way that makes it potable and then distributes it back to consumers. As water passes through homes, it is contaminated with detergents and human wastes. At the Gammams Wastewater Treatment Plant, raw sewage goes through a series of steps to make it potable again. The first step in the process is separating coarse trash and rubbish using a series of screens and grills. In an extended aeration procedure, colonies of pollution-eating bacteria are grown and begin to work. 99% of the bacteria is then removed in sedimentation tanks. Pesticides and chemicals are removed using a charcoal filtration process. Finally, using a technique called ultrafiltration, the water is forced through bundles of straws constructed of membranes so fine that all remaining bacteria and even viruses are filtered out of the water. The whole operation takes about a week to turn sewage back into drinking water. These high-tech recycling processes are helping Windhoek meet its daily water needs by providing about one-third to one-half of the domestic water used in the city. But due to the 5% annual growth rate of the city, Windhoek has joined the rest of Namibia in developing educational programs to ensure that the whole country is as conscious of water as the Lucas family. In this Windhoek school classroom, and all over the country, 
teachers and water conservation experts have been working to develop good practical attitudes towards the use and care of daily water supplies. Currently, between 60 and 70,000 students each year learn the importance of water in their lives and what to do to preserve water supplies for the future. Okay, and how can you individually conserve water um, in your houses, your garden and the school? Have you got any ideas? Um, well, while brushing your teeth, you could close the tap and then brush your teeth so you don't let um, waste water. Do you know how much water gets wasted if you don't close? This simple action saves up to three liters of water each time you brush your teeth. When multiplied by the population of Windhoek, this adds up to considerable savings of a precious resource in a country that has no water to waste. Because of the scarcity of water in Namibia, ideas of conservation are more readily adopted than in some equally dry areas where attitudes are much more difficult to change. <laughs> 